and no American need be left out. Affordable housing to the American people. Democrats are standing for the middle class families. Middle class uh, Americans. Despite all the talk about economic hard times from lawmakers, the Center for Responsive Politics has found the median net worth for a Congress member is now at $1,008,767, meaning for the first time just over 50 percent are millionaires. That's a lot because when you think about the rest of the population, only about 3% of us can call ourselves millionaires. And look who has all the money in Congress. Leading the list is Daryl Issa from California, a Republican with a net worth of $464 million. You can go to Virginia to find the top Democrat, Mark Warner, $257 million. And another Democrat is in third, Jared Polis from Colorado with $197 million. And this is based upon their income from 2012 on their tax returns. Congressional Democrats overall are slightly richer than their Republican colleagues, and senators are much richer than members of the House. Senate Majority Leader Democrat Harry Reid is worth over $4 million. Speaker of the House Republican John Boehner has about a half million less than that. Still, they all get salaries. A regular member of Congress gets $174,000 a year from the taxpayers, or about four times as much as an average American earns in the same period of time. And how do they invest all their wealth? The Center for Responsive Politics found that some of the top stock picks include General Electric, Wells Fargo, and Microsoft, just to name a few. But as a general principle, they like investing in real estate, in big oil, in securities, in big banks. In fact, investing in many of the businesses that they're so often called on to investigate and regulate for the rest of us.